Welcome to the Reverberations Podcast, where we explore the human experience and the journey of self-discovery. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, John Stewart, founder of 365, author, sound alchemist, specialist in vibrational medicine, and integrative wellness with a focus on emotional trauma. As always, it's an honor to share this time and space with you, as well as what supports this podcast. There's no questioning the importance of our dietary intake in regards to our overall health and wellness goals. Known as a transformation company, I was introduced to Purium a little under a year ago and implemented it as a staple in my daily personal and professional practice. Designed in consideration of human physiology, human metabolism, and human potential, the Daily Core 4 is made up of four pillars of natural Purium products to cleanse the body and satisfy its critical needs at a cellular level. Their products fit any preferred dietary lifestyle, whether you're looking for detox, life transformation, nourishment, weight loss, immune support, fitness, gut health, you will be supported on your journey. And perhaps what I appreciate the most is that Perium is in alignment with my values, sourcing from organic, sustainable farmers and practicing eco-friendly shipping with a commitment to be plastic free by the end of 2021. Perium is a quality, trusted company with a vested interest in spreading economic freedom through plant-based wellness. Visit ishoppurium.com. That's I shop P u r i u m dot com enter referral code amplify your love for fifty dollars off your first order at 365 our mission is to facilitate and support the maximization of human potential and global sustainability by advocating whole health and promoting harmony within and throughout 365's products and services are based on the ontology of mind body spirit Sound, where we address the full spectrum of well being physical, spiritual, mental, and emotional wellness. My mission as a practitioner is to lead clients to a clear and gentle understanding of their inner truth, untangling the energetic and subconscious constriction within our mind and body at a core level, loosening the intensity of belief patterns that no longer serve us, and providing an opening for us to remember and return to a state of harmony natural vibrancy, and complete state of well-being. It all begins within, and it all begins with you. For 10% off products and services, enter code IAMLOVED at checkout. What's good, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Reverberations. The past three episodes, we've had Dr. Terry Mahaney on. She's the creator of Change Your Mind Super Sleep Program, and she's been on discussing brainwaves, neurofeedback, and different self-guided practices that identify patterns, trauma loops, processes, and allow us to lean into deeper healing. Last week, we had four guests on that shared areas of their life that they wanted to tune into and overcome or to be able to release or to be able to optimize. This is a way that we're able to go back into, like as Terry says, going into our theta closet. There are studies that show that our memories are stored in theta. That is the fastest way to be able to work with something because we're going directly in. We don't have our conscious mind trying to get in the way and run a program to deter us and distract us for what it is that we need to overcome within our own mind to be able to move through something, to be able to transmute it, to be able to transform, to go beyond form and allow the healing to unfold at a subtle energetic level. I look at it like this. Our hardware isn't going to change. Our brain is what it is. Unless we have some sort of implant or AI or some surgical modification to our brain, it is going to be what it is. So what we can do is we can either update the software. We can delete old files. We can install new updated programs that are in service to what it is that we wish to experience in our day-to-day life. We do have that capability. And this is the work that we are a service to. It's an absolute passion of mine to work in this area because it's so important to unwind what is no longer of service to us. 
Why are we holding on to things that are no longer ours? There is no reason for us to hold on to that weight. There is no reason for us to be held back. And this is why I started the show off with the journey of self-discovery, the journey of remembering, the journey of becoming, and into welcoming forever. Because we deserve to not be held captive by our past. We deserve to not be forever chasing the proverbial carrot. What we do deserve is to experience that liberation, that joy, that happiness, that peace, that safety, right here, right now, in this moment, and this moment, and this moment, infinite and eternal. We do deserve that. And we have that capability. There's no doubt in my mind that we can evolve consciously to be able to create a more sustainable and harmonious community. There's no doubt. And what it comes down to is personal responsibility and accountability. And that right there places the responsibility and accountability on us immediately. And that right there is a trigger in and of itself. That could feel like a daunting task. That could feel like the weight of the world. When we are loved and supported, it changes everything. We're not alone. We don't have to face these things alone. For some of us, it might require a lot of work. For others, it's a natural way of being. And we're all on that journey. The responsibility for those that are already there is to lift those up that are not by being the example. Those that are in the struggle, the responsibility is to be accountable in the areas that we are choosing to engage in activities or thoughts that aren't supporting what it is that we desire to experience. What thoughts are we thinking? Where does our attention go? How do we see things? Do we still have dreams? Do we have a vision? How do we talk about ourselves? How do we communicate with others? Do we speak truth? Do we actively listen? What is our tone? Do we lead with our heart? Do we check in with it? How do we connect and interact with others? Do our actions meet our thoughts and our words? Are we nourishing our body? And do we have a practice to simply unwind? And there's something so special in this space of accountability and responsibility. As Barbara Marks Hubbard stated, self-fulfillment through co-creation. Because when we're accountable and responsible for ourself, everything else seems to take care of itself. And when we're presented with a challenge, we are in the space to be able to meet it where it's at, to be energy efficient, to initiate inspired action, and we function in an optimal state. When I say those that are there, I'm not saying that they've made it, that there's nothing else for them to learn, that they are the be all and end all. What I am saying is that in any given facet of our life, they have learned to optimize their performance in whatever that category is. Whether that is acts of service, whether that is being impeccable with our word, whether that is selfless generosity or absolute compassionate care. And when I say those that are there, it isn't a competition, it isn't a status symbol, it isn't about spiritual one-upmanship. And it isn't about positioning of ego. Rather, it is that we have optimized and we have become a master in that area. And the master is always a student. There is always something more to learn. 
And in that passionate expression, we teach others. We are the living evidence. We are the example. So when I say accountability and responsibility is just being the best version of ourself so that everything else around us benefits. One of my dear friends, Katie, shared with me a couple weeks ago, how intimate can you make your most expansive vision? And that sat with me. I let it land. It's all about embodying our truth, being the best version of ourself. Living in a state of gratitude, taking care of ourselves, and putting our oxygen mask on, yet at the same time, once it's on, we help others around us when they're in need. The world right now is ripe for those that want to lean in, that want to lead. And this leadership is a new form of leadership. It's the localized leadership, as local as ourself. So we lead from within and witness it reverberate throughout. And that's what this show is all about. How can we create a more sustainable and harmonious community really comes down to the fundamental essence of being accountable and responsible for ourself. And as we do that, when we take care of ourself, everything else around us begins to take care of itself. Because when we truly take care of ourself, love and honor ourself, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, we honor that in others as well. Because when we love ourself, we reflect that in the world around us. And prior to the past couple episodes with Dr. Terry Mahaney, I was going through what led me to where I am now. What led me to my studies in vibrational medicine? What led me to studying emotional trauma? Why am I of service to human potential, to conscious evolution, to creating a world that is fully capable of sustainable and harmonious coexistence? In the episode preceding the ones with Dr. Terry Mahaney, I was sharing my exit story from the Navy and my journey of becoming. And it was in that moment when I was standing at Building 386 in Orlando on the Navy base and I was looking out and I was on the fourth floor, third or fourth floor, I can't quite remember. And I saw one of the guys that I was really close with as he was walking and he was leaving towards TPD, which is Transient Personnel Detachment. He had just gotten asked to leave the nuclear power school program. And it was at that moment I knew I was going to get out. It was that moment I knew. There was no question in my mind. It was just a matter of time. And it was no more than three months later that I was walking that same path to TPD on my way to exit my service in the Navy. And this is in no way any disrespect to any service person. I have the absolute utmost respect for anyone that goes into the service and risks putting their lives on the line. I may have my philosophical differences. However, when it comes down to it, these are humans that risk their lives to save others. And for many, this is the best option that they have in life. And when I left the Navy, my life was forever changed. I remember being so full of life, so alive, so passionate, so intentional, so purpose-driven. I went back up to Connecticut. I was there for nine days, found myself back in Florida. My time wasn't done there. It was like there was a magnetic attraction, like a, a tractor beam pulling me back. Though it wasn't against my will, it was everything that I desired, everything that I wanted, everything that I wished to experience, everything that I had asked for. There was a sense of freedom, a sense of liberation when, when I got on that Greyhound bus in New York City with $400 in my pocket, my sea bag on my back, 
and about a quarter of that sea bag was my music. And I got on that bus and Orlando was my new home. Orlando Magic. Welcome to forever. I could fill novels in just the first four years that I was in Orlando. It literally shaped every part of my life right now. From who I am as a man, for why I am so passionate and of service to emotional trauma, of why I take it seriously, of why self-growth, human potential, conscious evolution, holistic wellness, sustainability, harmonious coexistence, and shifting from a paradigm of control and domination to one of inclusion, to one of where we make consciously connected choices that are in support of all in creation, not just for survival. That's the old us. We don't need to live in that fear any longer. We are at a point of where we can. Do we really want to? Do we really want to make that shift? And that's a question that we really have to ask ourselves and get real. It's where the rubber meets the road of where we walk the talk. We don't just talk about it, we be about it. And that's an immediate reflection on myself of here it is where I'm saying something about not just talk about it, be about it. That's an immediate redirect towards myself of where that's something that I have to honor. That's something that I have to be willing to step into. That is authentic living. I was 22 years old, over a thousand miles away from anybody that I knew. And the magic that ensued, the, the amount of gratitude that I feel, the expansiveness of the love that I received, embodied, and expressed is beyond words. The journey of self-discovery was kicked into high gear there. As I shared earlier, it was literally a welcome to forever. Everything that I am, everything that is of value in my life outside of human connection was fostered, created, initiated, nurtured, opened, supported, amplified in the creative vortex of Orlando. The rest of the podcast is dedicated to what came forward, love, music, the exploration of consciousness, mind, body, spirit, sound. And I look forward to sharing stories and my experiences and my learnings in upcoming episodes. We'll tune in with my book, It All Begins With You, to 365 and amplify your love. So I invite you to tune in to next week's episode. And if anything in this episode resonated, clicked, created an aha, please share it with your friends, your social media, leave a comment or a rating on any of the podcast platforms. Every little bit helps. And it truly is an honor to share in this journey as we are better together. And if there are any topics or questions that you have, please feel free to reach out and we'll do our best to include it in an upcoming episode. And please, let's love and support one another. Have an amazing day.
celebrating each other for who we are, co-creating in this human experience. Yeah.